To edit this form, I need to have the Developer tab. The Developer tab is not there. To get the Developer tab, I'm going to go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, Developer. Now I'm going to select Developer, and to edit here, I need to be in Design Mode. Now, gender, I need to add the items F and M. Right click, properties, add F, add M. Library, I need to replace that X with a checkbox content control. And a help, I need to add some more options. Right click, properties. I need to add the option helping with reading skills. That option needs to be second last. So I'm going to move it up. Now I'm going to take off design mode and check if everything is as it should be. Gender, correct. A checkbox is correct. There, helping with reading skills. I must replace those two arrows with the contents of a text file. Let me go to that text file. It's in my folder. There's the text file. I'm going to press Control A to select all the text and Control C to copy. I'm now going to go back to my Word document. I'm going to select those two arrows and press Control V. I must keep the formatting which is in the destination to arrows. Control V. Yes, the formatting of those two arrows has been kept. Our document has a table which has recommended books for grades 8 and 9, and another table which has books recommended for grades 10, 11, and 12. I need each table to start at the top of a new page. And I need there to be text above each table, which tells me what's in that table. Now, this needs different sections. And I'm going to use section bricks. There. So this table is on a new page. And I'm going to go here. And this table is going to be on a new page. Now I've put section breaks in. Now this header area, I do not want to link to the previous section. I want the text that I'm going to put here to stay in this section. And the text that I'm going to put in this section I want to stay in this section and not linked to the previous section. Let me close that and then check. Nothing in the header area there. That's correct. Table starts at top of new page. This is linked to that. Correct. Table starts at top of new page. This information there relates to what is in this table. That is correct. There's something wrong. This, these column headings must be repeated on this page. Select the column headings, Table Tools, Layout, Repeat Header Rows. Let me scroll down and check. 
There they are. This question is now complete.